Well, thank you all for your patience. Um, at about 7.50 this morning, our officers were called uh, to the scene just behind us on the south side of this uh, golf course that's here. Um, unfortunately, someone uh, called in and reported that they saw what appeared to be the body of a child. Uh, once our units responded, uh, they did find what appears to be the body of a child. Of course, right now we can't confirm the age of the child. It's still a, a fresh investigation. It's still ongoing right now. Our homicide bureau is on scene. Um, our crime scene, they are coming to process the scene. We cannot make any confirmations as to who this individual is at this time, but we can say that there is a, a deceased, what appears to be a child, a body in the body of water on the south side of this, uh, this golf course here. Chris, FDLE suspended its Amber Alert saying the child was found deceased. Right. That would seem that this is actually the child being uh, the one who was missing, Alejandro Ripley. Can you comment about that, what FDLE did? Right. So a a as it goes right now, Alejandro Ripley was uh, reported as abducted last night. Uh, we're not ruling out the possibility that this could be the same case, the same, uh, the same person. But, of course, we have to wait for a homicide to do their investigation so we can make positive ID and make contact with the family members to see if this is actually the same person. Can you tell us about the family story, the mother's story, that there was an abduction? Do you believe that was the case, uh, the parents being questioned? As it is right now, we're taking every detail in, in, into consideration. Um, that was her, uh, the, the statement that she gave us is that her child was abducted. Of course, that's definitely a possibility. Um, and we're going to go with that information and investigate this as, at that case, as it is an abduction. Chris, I know that this is a golf course, but is there any kind of uh, surveillance on the field for the golf course itself, for people that walk around, whatever, seeing something being brought in like that? Maybe? Right. So right now there are there are a number of businesses around you while they're standing here. You can look around. There's a number of businesses. There's people walking past. The detectives, their job now is they're going to go to each business and find any surveillance that they can and they're gonna canvas everywhere around. Not only that, but the cameras that may be out in the street as well to see if any vehicles were coming in any time between last night and, and uh, this morning at about 7.50 when our officers arrived. Are you still appealing for the public's help in finding this child in light of the FDLE canceling the Amber Alert? Absolutely, we're, 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 we're just taking the details as they come. We want the public, if they have any information on Mr. Alejandro Ripley also, please provide that information. If you may have information on the scene behind us, please. Uh, call Crime Stoppers. You can remain anonymous. Any information is um, valuable to us. Chris, can you say if the parents have been brought in for questioning? As of right now, the uh, the parents of uh, Miss Al uh, of Alejandra Ripley, she is being interviewed. Of course, we have to take her her um, her statements into consideration, and we'll be using her information as a way to determine the identity of uh, the person that we found. Any word on the suspects? Uh, the two men. She originally said two black males did it. Cor cor correct. She said it's two, uh, two, uh, two male subjects that abducted her child. We're still looking for two subjects at the moment. So once again, if you have any information on that or perhaps you saw someone in the area, there's a, the area that he was abducted from. It's, there's a number of businesses over there, namely a Home Depot. If you were in that area last night around uh, 9 p.m. and you have inf any information, please call Crime Stoppers and provide that information for detectives. Did she say what was taken? Just a cell phone and they took the child and a cell phone but no pocketbook? She That's all? A, she had a number of effects that she said were taken. I don't want to give you a comment on, on exactly what was taken. That would be documented in the reports and we'll be able to provide that for you at a, at a later time. Once again, where the vehicle was actually... Say that again. As of right now, it foul play in, in which case? And it, well, as, of, as of right now, we're taking in all of her details into consideration, and um, it's still an ongoing investigation. It's pretty fresh. It came in at, at 9, 9.30 last night, about 9, 9 p.m. last night. So um, we're just trying to piece together everything like that. We're not ruling out foul play, but it may not be, so we, we, we'll see. What is that to me? The deceased child? Which deceased child? We're still trying to confirm. He hasn't been taken out of the, uh, the, the the body of water right now, so we're still trying to wait for crime scene to process so we know exactly what the person is wearing. The boy that was found here uh, matches the description of the boy, of the missing boy? The boy found here appears to be a young child, a young boy. And, so, and he appeared in, in, the, in the water? In the, he's right now in a body of water. So just one of the waterways that are located off of the golf course. Well, we, we can't comment on, on why another agency with, uh, you know, what information they put out. We just know that we, as the lead agency at the moment, have to make confirmation, positive confirmation, before we start releasing any information. Right. 
at the moment, I tell you what the silver lining is. We had a person who was on scene this morning that was vigilant. They were going about their daily affairs and they saw what appeared to be a body. We just want everyone to continue to be vigilant, especially now where everyone's kind of just getting back into the flow of, of, uh, of, of public life. Just be uh, vigilant and see, you know, if you see something like this person did, they said something. They called us and we came to investigate and unfortunately that's what we found and we'll continue with that portion of the investigation. Chris, this is uh, obviously a Miccosukee property. Are you guys in uh, as far as being helped out with Miccosukee in this situation? Right, we're making, we're making, we're making the proper notification so that we get everyone involved, so that everyone's on the same page in terms of where we are in the investigation and what information that we put out. Okay. I can't comment on why some some did not get that alert. I mean, it could be a cell tower, it could be technology. Um, what we do is once we have a, a missing child, we immediately notify them and they start putting they take over that portion so we can't say as to what technically happened or you know any, any messages that didn't make it out okay